coming to the point so how would you debate them only fundamental topics hinduism fundamental topics what is your doctrine and aqeedah don't talk extra with us talk to the pertaining that's all and other religions i don't think so they will like to confront you jews are hiding under those trees oxythoron trees like you know as the prophet sallam says that gharqad they will grow gharqad because it will protect them you know on the last of the days when they know that it's in written in their magazine to armageddon sorry this yeah magazine by philadelphia trumpet and they mention this armstrong's family that you know our time going to be very end soon because of the jews and all these things are happening and they know that what their destination is they know very well about themselves so as prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says the time will come even the stone will cry that the jew is hiding behind me i get him and get him and there will be no scot free there will be no ansar those helpers and savior etc when this thing will come they know very well so confront you will mostly find with protestants christians and the best ways talk about fundamentals you will see that their you know ground will be taken away under their feet and they will trip and fall with all proclamations of holy spirit inside them fundamentals i say and my challenge is open from my platform to any christian i don't go for vipism i don't go for those credentials i say bring any christian who is dear to talk to the fundamentals of christianity i don't want to talk about any other things don't try to turn the tables because you're helpless you apologetics you started this apology from the dawn of the christianity islam has nothing to apologize whatever islam says it says on the rock foundation of everything concrete foundation and you cannot shake any pillar of islam i'm telling you with your logic with your understanding yes fools you can keep barking against day and night and you can try to just show people that oh you see i find faults in islam and well you say apparently you find faults in islam but trust me logically rationally you know that christianity is not right you know in your heart every pastor knows that christianity is not true you know in your heart but what would you do those donations those politics those you know what you call a uh, papacy going on for thousands of years how would you convince those people who died i'm asking this so that's why it's not hard i can understand i have full empathy as well as sympathy for you guys i go pity on you but on the grounds of rationalism you know that christianity has no grounds talk about trinity you never be able to explain till now talk about divinity of christ you just start you know rum fumbling fumbling here and there oscillation talk about original sin you don't know where it originated from start about is the bible's god word full of contradictions after contradictions you not be able to prove it nothing on and on i said for example then original sin jesus god is the bible god's word trinity crucifixion the crux of the matter the most fundamental point in christianity crucifixion you know that crucifixion the exhibits are not matching with one another you know that your pastor knows it the critics of bible knows but what would you do as i always say if you remove paul says if christ has not risen from the dead our pre preaching is vain our religion is vain meaning you have nothing to do if you are unable to prove that jesus christ really was resurrected if you can't prove it your game is finished you see every religion try to sell the point come to islam islam has no ambiguity your bible says that god is not the author of confusion but droves after droves christianity are getting in confusion and they are plunging into the so psychological issues we call it cognitive dissonance cognitive is the mental ability of human being how they behave to the particular notions if this to go if this thing go beyond understanding rationalism you just plunge into dissonance confusion so somehow you try to convince yourself inner deep figments okay fine this is what it is now I, that's all i am i'm going to follow that this is what you call cognitive 
dissonance. Islam has no place for that. Islam is clear. From the beginning, there is one God and he is sending his representatives on this planet. Whosoever follow the guidance and that particular representative, he is going to heaven. You pay for your own price, but God is very big to forgive you. Keep coming again and again. He's going to keep forgiving you. It's a relative perfection. He doesn't want you to become angels. He wants you to be to do sin, but also repent. Some sins, if you do with your fellow brethren, you kill him, you try to do something bad, you have to pay the price in this dunya. But for hereafter, Allah knows that he's going to forgive you or not. But if you die in the state of associating partners with God, calling his, his creature that he is the creator or associating partner with any means, there is no forgiveness for you. And this is the main notion from the beginning from Adam Islam till the Prophet Muhammad peace upon him. What confusion in there? What is the rocket science is there? Rocket science is this when you try to say that Jesus was God and he came down to this earth and still you do not understand what Trinity is. وَآخِرُ الدَّعْوَانَ عَنِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ